name is Steve Baker. I, um, I run this studio called Holy Terra Studios here in Baltimore, Maryland, in Hamden. I've been here for since 2001. I moved here in October of that year and have been here since. My wife has, she lived, grew up in Baltimore. She has preconceived notions of the Camden um, from the 70s and 80s and was like, no way, that's a biker bar area. That's how you don't go down there though. And like we came down here and I was like, this is a great little like neighborhood. It's like, it's, it's a very cute neighborhood. There's nothing, it's nice. You know, it's, it's in the city. There's a little coffee shop up here that I really like. There's, you know, these things that I like. So we bought a little house here. We started doing a renovation and I kind of just kind of dug myself in. Um, I came from a really small town that had a lot of welders and metal people and craftsmen of sorts. Glass has a way of illuminating and changing in the different light tones that you have. A lot of my glass pieces that I make, um, you know, I'll do them inside the studio in here where I have a certain kind of light and then I put them outside and put them through some like, you know, bright sunlight and they totally change. These materials are kind of fun because what they do is they allow me to have fun with color, form, and textures. And the colors are different and uh, I just really love that color and texture feel. I love the warmth that you get from those colors and, and, uh, and, the, and the luminosity of those pieces. Uh, the metal and, and the wood and stuff like that is just kind of like, they, they just come natural to me uh, as a compositional type piece of, of assembling pieces. Uh, I'm making like a large structure or a large uh, design of some sort. The glass, I, I just, I'm always, I've always been interested in glass. I've always really loved it, even as a kid playing with fires and like putting bottles in fires and like, you know, seeing when they melt and when they explode and when they do things. And so I've always been kind of interested in those things. My favorite parts of the project is the very first part when I get the job and I'm thinking of how I can do the best kind of piece for someone. So somebody comes to me and they go, I want something for the front of my house. I go to their house or I'll look at a space and I'll go, okay, you have this really great looking transom here and how can we make that expand out across the space and change the space and like and then once I get from that point I love the next part which is the, the engineering part of it and then once it comes to the building part you're just kind of on autopilot that whole first section is kind of, you bundle up so much energy and so much time and like so much thought process in how it's all going to look and work and create and, and, um, and change that surface in some way in some form and that, that part I think that's one of my more favorite parts.